Coachella day one. I wanted to get in early, so I Ubered there by myself because my friends lag. As soon as I got in, I went straight to the Yuma tent to see Kyle Watson. The line was horrendous. I finally made it in and caught a little bit of his set, and he was great. Then I got hungry, and I was being really indecisive until I finally settled on pizza, which was bomb. I wandered the grounds a bit and checked out the beautiful art, which they really stepped up this year. They had these flowers, robots, and so many other cool structures. It turns out one slice of pizza isn't that filling, so I got this jerk chicken bowl, which was really good. Then I was getting bored because I was all alone, and I was feeling a little antisocial. So I just sat at the do lab for a bit. Eventually I got up to watch Pusha T by myself. But then I ran into some friends. Thank the Lord. Then like 10 minutes later, we ran into the rest of the squad and we saw Blink-182. The set was so nostalgic. It reminded me of my insecure middle school days. Ah, good times. We partied at Yuma for a bit, met some more friends. <laughs> and went back to Sahara for the one and only Metro Boomin. absolutely killed it. It was an incredible performance, bringing out Future, 21 Savage, The Weeknd, Don Tolliver, and even P. Diddy. The set was unbeatable. It was soon time to call the Uber home, but my battery was at 3%, and all my friends had shuttle passes. So I decided to try sneaking onto the shuttles. We got to security, and there were six lanes, but ours was the only one being checked. And as soon as I got to the security checkpoint, the guard turned around and yelled at someone, and I slipped right behind him and booked it in. It was a miracle. Then we were being idiots at the hotel until 6 a.m. <laughs> On my Uber ride back, I had a great conversation with an ex-Navy SEAL who gave me a lot of good advice about living every day to the fullest because you don't know when it will be your last. And it was the perfect wholesome conversation after a night of debauchery. Day one was great. But day two was even better. 